now, Darren and Anita with your Grand Strand Artist Spotlight. Darren back from Darren and Anita on Grand Strand. Back with you with Edna Wright and now Greg Perry. Greg, how you doing, man? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Edna, we got your husband out here. Yeah, they're, they're married now. Since the Holland Dozier and Holland days, folks, believe it or not. We talked about that in an interview back in December. Ooh, see, so did, I can remember yeah. that. Greg's probably not heard that interview. She gave some pretty good stuff about, I had a little bit. Uh, about mm -hmm. you guys. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where we left off, uh, folks, we were talking about a song for mm -hmm. you and the Carolina Beach music market. Right. And Greg, you being the songwriter that you are, uh, and just to tell the folks, what are some of the songs that you had written for Edna in the past? Oh, I'm, well, that's easy. Yeah. Uh, One Monkey, is. Don't One Stop monkey. No Show, right. which was a million seller. Uh, Stick Up, yep. Highway Robbery, which right. was a, your second million seller. Right. And the first one was One Ads. Oh, Gonna put it in the One Ads. Yeah. She wants a young man sing one, one free. I guess right. you got the whole Holland Dozier Hondo here with right. the songwriter. Right, right, right. No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> serious. There you go. Well, Greg, I, I know I was talking to Edna about you guys have come out here to the Carolinas for the House of Blues uh, for the tribute to General that, that was there. You're back now for the two shows that were going on in Salisbury, North Carolina, and then the Triangle Beach Music Festival were like 30,000 some odd people out there. And you've, I guess, seen this Carolina Beach music world and, and the sound to it. So what are you thinking? I'm, this is how I'm gonna ask this. What are you thinking now? Because we don't wanna give too much away Okay. Uh, about a song for Edna for this market. What, what well, we've thinking? already started on one. Uh, ah. Ken Knox and myself, we've already uh, conceptualized some music that would be great for her and for her voice and for this area. So it's just a matter of get, rolling the sleeves up and doing it. Well, so we can't, um, I'm gonna try this, folks. I don't know if it'll work. A name, we don't, do we have a name yet for the song? We can't. Well, we have a name, but we, wanna, uh, I, we, we don't wanna let it out I'm yet. trying, I say, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I almost had it. I, he was thinking for us, folks. Yeah. No, it's, I understand. Uh, I, are we looking at a whole album maybe eventually, we, or like a single start, first and, and then? We'd like to start off with four songs we're gonna do, and then, Sort of uh, like an EP, I yes, guess. Yes, like an EP, and drop a single first, and see how that single does, and see if we we're on target. And gotcha. if we're on target, then we'll finish with the uh, put the album okay. together. Cool yeah. deal. Well, what else is going on with you in California? Where says Edna? I know Ed, Edna's traveling a lot, and I know you're with her a lot. And I tell you, this is the thing. I'm, I'm gonna I, I ask you a question. I'm gonna sort of answer it in a way. Okay. To see you when you're in town and we're at Studio East with a band. I would hate to be a player in a band <laughs> with oh. this man right here because he is, he, I, and it's awesome what you do though because it, he makes it right, you make it right. And these guys seem to come together and I've talked to a lot of the guys in the bands that you'd worked with when we were over there and they really like that. Okay. I think it makes it difficult for them but knowing where you came from and what you do is, is it means a lot to those folks, man. And well, I know you tear the drummer with the chairman of the board all. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. well, the drums are the center. It is, That's yes. the foundation. And basically, uh, this is a school that we came from. It actually started a long time ago. I learned from my uncle. Right. Robert Bateman, who was the writer and producer for the Marvelettes. So when we were in the radio show in December, you were telling me about Right. Yeah. He did uh, the song, Please, Mr. Postman, yes, which was the sole... Uh, the only song on the Billboard charts has been number one by three different artists, and that's the Marvelettes, the Carpenters, and the Beatles. Wow. So I learned from him that rhythm is very, very important. Most of the things we did, it was rhythm first, we'd do the rhythm, and then we would overdub horns and strings. Right. And the, the, the drums are so important. And it's got to, and so while we're doing these shows, even though they're shows, I think the people need to hear the best. Right, exactly. You know? And exactly. in the studio, you can't make a mistake. You got, but you have the option to go back yeah. and do it again, yeah. but not on stage. It's got to be right, right. the first time. Exactly. You know? So exactly. that's why you work. That's why you work so hard. You know. Exactly. Well, I commend you on that because it's Thank awesome you. to watch you do that. Thank actually, you. it's fun. I, I enjoy the invites over there to watch all of that, <laughs> to see Edna when you are doing your thing and practicing. Yeah. You got into it the other night over oh, yeah. there. She was <laughs> like. And I, and, I, and I actually walked out, we were in the lobby when I walked out and Greg was standing out there and I said, man, she's out there going. And she, he said, she can do it. She has to turn it on. I had to learn. He taught me um, uh, when I first went out with Juan Ads and we had other thong, songs that we were learning. And he said, uh, he, he, we'd walk down the, be walking down the street and he'll say, okay, what's the bass line? 
And I said, bass line? <laughs> to what? And he said, to one ass. He said, you gotta know your own song. So he taught me how to learn, he learned, taught me the, the bass line. He said, learn your instruments. And then he said, and the, the guitar does, and he showed me the rhythm of it. The first job we went out to do was the first thing I had to do, was to show the bass player his part. And they went like, oh God. Cause she can, you know, I guess they thought, yo, she, she helped with this music. I but they began, I said, give me a beat. Then I learned, you know, the foot and the, the what right. was really important. I learned all that, but I, I was a studio. I, I, oh my God. I was a studio rat. Like, yeah. that's what they call it. I remember you telling us when we talked on the air on the yeah. radio show that you said working with these guys in the studio. Oh, well, General man. Johnson Ooh. and Greg, when they were together, Ooh. Greg would have to pull General down sometimes. He was, he was yeah. pushing it. Just he would. He, I mean, I was so, I'd be in the, in the studio sometimes, I'd be like, I can't <laughs> walking and pacing, and they would be in there laughing at me. You ever saw that? Maybe they did that on purpose you so know, they'd laugh at you. Know, I had this little curly fro, right? Blonde curly fro. And and uh, General came in there one time going like this. <laughs> you remember Harpo? Yeah. With the hat on? Yeah. And he'd say, you walking like Harpo. We was laughing about you pacing the floor. And I was trying to remember the lyrics because Greg said, if you, if you can't sing the song without the lyrics, you don't know it. And I started to really, at that in those days, cuss him out. Right. But I said, hard on it, Greg. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that when you go to the studio, that's the least you could do. Is right. Know. Well, right. I really, I really did know the lyrics. She didn't know the lyrics. But I. But she, she wanted to, uh, it, she wanted to put her own stamp. Right. On every okay. song. Yeah, I did. I mean, she was a perfectionist also. Right. And she didn't just want to sing it just, you know. I think that's what made her know. so good. Yeah. We were all, I wanted it right. She wanted it I didn't want to let it go. go. You right. know, the Until first thing, right. like I tell him sometimes, the first thing with me was hearing my voice. Mm -hmm. And my first records, they never were like I thought I should have sounded. Right. But everybody liked it. I mean, they liked Why Y'all Looking for Sugar. And I was like, something wrong with my voice. But the more I did it and the more I got in there, the better I started liking my voice. Yeah. Just growing as an yeah, artist. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, Greg, when can we expect this song? <laughs> well, <laughs> if I were to Folks, say. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm working here. Working. Realistically, I would probably think the earliest would probably be in 60 days. I yeah. Gotcha. 60, that's pretty fast. Yeah. I was expecting a year next summer. Oh, no, yeah, no, it might, no, 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 no. might be earlier, but I would say the early, I would say around 60 days. Well, let me ask you this, so I can get first dibs on this. Can we be the first to spin it? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, there yeah. You go. First, okay. I, I'm working for you. Listen, I got, listen, well, no, no, I want you let's, to wear this. I, I, <laughs> I want you to be the first to spin this one. Here we go. <laughs> My microphone fell here. <laughs> Let, let's show this. I want Folks, you to be the first to spin this. <laughs> new tank tops, Edna Wright. You can find these on the Facebook page. As a matter of fact, if you are on Facebook, go to the little searchy box at the top, type in Edna Wright Honeycomb. You'll see that. These are for sale on there, and there's a lot of folks, because I go to your fan page quite yeah, a bit, yeah. talking about the shirts. They want them. Wanted young man single and free. Now, I like this, and me and Anita were talking on the radio show about this a couple <laughs> weeks ago. I got one. We got, I was talking to her, and I said, Anita, I said, it's like a wet, big, wet, sloppy kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and you yes. want a young man single and free on this thing. But yeah, there you go, is. ladies, and yeah. I tell you, I think everybody at the beach this summer needs a, needs a wet, sloppy kiss. I Absolutely. think they do. With, I do, with, too. With wanted on this I know. Thing. I have to send, send a box to California. Oh. That's that's how m much that people are asking for them and my oldest daughter wow. is going to is going to uh, work with Taz on getting selling them. Now, I think too, I'm not sure, but I I've, I've noticed on Facebook when you put that up there that some of the ladies are and the guys were like, "Well, what about the guys? I hear there's a shirt in the works oh, yeah. for the fellas." Yes, yeah, it, is. it is. So, fellas, there you go. It it's coming. Hang in there. It's, it's coming, coming for you. It's coming so you can match your girl. Maybe we can do one monkey don't stop no show with the mm. with the wanted uh, yeah, yeah, one yeah. man uh, I can't. Single and singer and free. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Folks, Greg, thank you so much for taking the time All to right. talk to us about the song and, and I'll be watching our Facebook and our website for that. Darren and Anita Grandstrand. Edna, thank My you pleasure. so much. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate me. you taking the time to sit thank here. You. What a beautiful backdrop oh, that we have. And the it's day is, 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 is awesome. It's okay. I know we talked to you about the American Legacy of Music Tour mm -hmm. with the chairman of the board. Yes. And we've got another guy here today. His name is Ken Knox, yes. chairman of the board. He's here. We're going to take another short break, and we're going to come back with Ken Knox. We might even keep Greg out here. <laughs>
I'm and, gone. And then the right. No, you got to stay. Oh, okay. Because you parted a, a legacy of music okay, tour. Okay, okay. American legacy of okay, music okay. tour. Okay. The tour. Okay. That's all coming up, folks.